just uh, tell me what you've seen in practice so far, what you've been optimistic about, and just you know where you see your team at so early. Well, we've had some really competitive practice so far. Uh, we are young, uh, but we have a lot of young kids. We've got a lot of basketball experience and a lot of um, great basketball IQ. And uh, we've had very, very competitive, upbeat practices. Um, they're, they're young, and sometimes they act like they are young. But once they get out on the court, uh, it's a, you see the maturity, but, but practice has been fantastic. Okay. Uh, what do you see, uh, what are your goals for this team, uh, being runners-up in the state championship, uh, just going forward this year? Well, obviously, uh, we have uh, huge expectations uh, for this year's team. Uh, when you, anytime you got a player like Zion Williamson, who's 13th in the nation with the ESPN. Uh, I was grown to about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and, uh, and you got to play like that. You, you got to think uh, doing very well in the conference and, uh, and also finishing, uh, uh, going deep into the playoff. Um, and then you got a kid, a kid like Magic Moody, Moody back who's a year older. Uh, with those two, you, you uh, count it or encourage that you get, got a chance to at least uh, make it through our conference, uh, have a shot to uh, compete for that a championship, and then go deep into the playoff. And as you mentioned, after finishing second last year, uh, I think the kids are hungry to go a little bit further. And what that means is they, they want a, a championship. Uh, well, you, you mentioned Magic and and Zion, but you lost a couple of key seniors, especially from a leadership standpoint with Anders Ike and Matthew Overton. Who do you see, or what kind, what kind of hole do you see that feel, that being created? The, 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 the thing that was, um, that Anders Ike and Matthew o Overton brought to the team was uh, senior leadership. And um, they left a, a tre tremendous void there. Um, we got some younger players that will be able to step up. Um, but in terms of leadership, that's what, we, what we're trying to find. We, we got younger kids that can play, um, but in order to prepare themselves and other their teammates, um, it's going to be interesting to see who kind of step up to do that. Right now, uh, Cal Tracy is, is uh, doing very, very well. He's been appointed one of our captains uh, along with Zion Williamson and Rollins um, Turner is, is, is doing really well. Uh, Bishop Richardson uh, is a great shooter and he's having, uh, he's had great practices and uh, he's doing very well. He will be expected to do well this season. And then uh, Talon Cooper who has grown uh, several inches and plays with an attitude, uh, a good attitude, and is, is a uh, great leader on the court. Uh, even though he's a ninth grader, he's, he demands the basketball. He does a great job distributing bas the basketball. And I'm just excited about those uh, kids that I mentioned. Uh, we, we got a chance to do some some good things in our conference. Well, and then Speaking of the conference, what do you expect to see out of that? You have Oak Brook, who hasn't lost a, a region game in three years. Uh, SCA is surely to be much improved from last year. What do you see, you know, as far as well, what both, you're going to get here at day in and day out? Both teams, as you mentioned, got a, um, a lot of history in terms of winning. Um, Oak Brook don't know how to lose <laughs> in the conference. Uh, we played them well last year in the contest. We, we, Played them, um, and it seemed when when they kind of felt like their back was against the wall, and that there was a chance for them to lose, particularly the last uh, conference championship game. They, you can just tell their players just kind of went to another level uh, because they're not used to uh, to losing, and they, they've all been battle tested. And I see Oak Brook as the team to beat uh, again, and SCA. Uh, have won so many championships, and those kids grew up seeing SEA winning championship, and, and they have a bunch of banners in their gym, 
And so those those kids are going to bounce back. And and Coach Arthur is a tremendous coach. And he'll have them prepared, and uh, they'll be ready uh, to compete for uh, the conference championship. It, it's going to be a, a tough uh, year, uh, I think. Either one of us can can win on either one of our, co our courts, but it's going to come down to uh, you know who can be the most consistent. Just talk to me about uh, how practice has been going and what you've seen in this early part of the year. Well, our practices are always fun. We're very very young. We have two juniors three freshmen and everybody else is sophomore, so it's a lot of learning, a lot of growing, especially me being a new coach and only having two or three real returners. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Well, what are you expecting from the team this year in your first year? I expect us to grow a lot during the season, me as a coach and them as athletes and as players. It's going to be very, very hard since we did lose two key seniors last year. but. I expect us to be competitive, but it's still going to be a lot of work as we go forward. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, two key seniors you lost, uh, Ansley DeVore and Zell Richardson, what kind of hole that leaves on the team? Well, they definitely were uh, the majority of scoring last year, so this year we are asking our whole team essentially to step up and score buckets for us to fill that hole. And do you, um, who do you see stepping up and filling those roles? Well, hopefully our whole team, but we have some really key juniors, Kaylee Owens and Kate McBride, that hopefully will fill that hole scoring-wise and leadership-wise. And then some sophomores, uh, particularly Lauren Oaks and Kathleen Babb, that will play a great big role on our team this year. And then a freshman, Arianna Muhlenby, hopefully will come up and give us some key scoring from the uh, Beyond the Arc this year. So hopefully we will have some balance scoring this year going forward. All right, finally, uh, what do you look for in the in the region this year? Uh, an extra team, you have Shannon Forrest coming in, and then, you know, just the key rivalries with Oak Brook and Spartanburg Christian. Rivalries are <laughs> always fun. We will be competitive. Hopefully, you know, we can feed off that energy and come out with wins, but we'll definitely be competitive. We're going to put our best foot forward and see what happens and see what, how it goes from there.